going to solve max minimum problems. We need to identify the quantities, both the given and the to be determined. A graph sometimes helps. We write a primary equation, which is going to be maximized. Then we want to get to have only one variable in this equation. Sometimes we require a second equation to do this. We also need to look at the logical x and x values that are both a minimum and maximum. Finally, we use previous calculus techniques. Let's look at a handbill as to contain 50 square inches of printed matter with 4 inch margins at the top and bottom and 2 inch margins on the side. What dimensions for the page would use the least amount of paper? I have a sketch here. X will be the horizontal and Y will be the vertical. Our primary equation will be A equals X times Y. And that's the area of the entire page. However, if we look at the area of the printed matter, which will be on the inside, we'll have x minus 4 times y minus 8, and that contains 50 square inches. So if we solve for y, we have 50 over x minus 4 plus 8. So now we can change our first equation to have only one variable. We can have x times 50 over x minus 4 plus 8. So area equals 50x over x minus 4 plus 8x. Let's find the critical numbers by taking the derivative of the area with respect to x and using our quotient rule denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator all over the denominator squared we wind up with this. To simplify this, we have 50x minus 200 minus 50x over x minus 4 squared. And if we get a common denominator, we're left with this. And if we try to put these things together, we have 8 times x minus 4 squared minus 200 all over x minus 4 quantity squared. We need to solve this equation. So if we square the binomial, we're left with 8x squared minus 64x minus 72 all over x minus 4 squared. We set this equal to zero to find the critical numbers. We factor an eight out. We ignore the denominator. X squared minus nine X that's minus eight X minus nine. X minus nine times X plus one equals zero. X equals nine. X equals negative one x equal negative 1 doesn't make any sense because you can't have a negative value here so x equal 9. We take the second derivative dA dx squared we wind up with 400 over x minus 4 squared if we put a 9 in there that'll give us a 400 over 5 squared which is a number greater than 0 because we have a number greater than 0 that means we have an a relative minimum. So our answer for our problem, x equal to 9 inches here, and y equals 18.